Hey Movie Maniacs, Mark the Movie Man here. Welcome to the final cut and today I've got an independent horror comedy for you and it is titled OMG we're in a horror movie. Yes, that is the title of the story of seven friends who, during a night of board gaming at one of the friends' house, they get pulled into a horror film. And we see how these group of friends try to decide who is the actual killer, what exactly is going on, and what horror tropes can they avoid to try to survive and be able to be the ones who walk off into the sunset as the credits roll. Obviously, they think they know who it is, but as all these things go, things get cloudy muddy and soon everybody's is suspecting everyone and we see how it comes to an interesting and unpredictable conclusion director Ajala Bandele who also plays a character in front of the camera named AJ really brings a nice refreshing take on the self-aware meta film if you will we've gotten that a lot especially since scream it started that and then uh it's really taken in an upbeat here with the film like the final girls which is a fantastic film and this one while i was worried it was going to be along that same vein it has enough originality to it to separate itself from others that are of similar concept and i like that i was glad that it was a refreshing different take on the uh, uh, meta horror film, if you will. Now, all these characters are very interesting, and I enjoyed them quite a bit. A couple of standout performances here. Liz Fenning as Amy. Her character was just fantastic for when she's on screen. I, she embodied everything we've seen from a crazy girlfriend all into just this one character, and she played it so well. I mean, she just... Oh man, you can see why the guy uh, who was uh, her, who is now her ex-boyfriend, uh, is, is so creeped out. And I just, I loved her performance in here. Another performance in here that stood out for me was Jess, uh, played by uh, Sharon May and and uh, Sharon May Wang, excuse me. And I really enjoyed her performance too. Uh, really stood out as an interesting character, the vegan character of the group. Uh, she's a lesbian, and just there's all kinds of different elements to her character. And she brings that through as a very strong female character through the screen. And then there's the Tanya character. Fan. She was a blast to watch on screen. I loved some of the dialogue she gets and some of the best comments in this, especially one of the first lines of dialogue she has, has me rolling. Everybody in here does fantastic, has some fantastic comedic timing in here. And there are some horror aspects in here as well. Uh, you know, so it's not just all horror comedy. There is some uh, horror elements in here as well, the suspenseful elements in here too. You know, and, and it was just great. They, the characters are self-aware of what type of film that they're in, and it's just interesting for them to see, uh, you know, how they try to avoid those tropes and making a point to what is we've come to find the standard formula to a horror film. So there's a lot of originality here here and a whole lot of fun for OMG we're in a horror movie. I would highly recommend it to all of you out there who are looking for a fun horror comedy, who like indie horror comedy. If you're a fan of The Final Girls, if you're a fan of even the Scream films, I think you will enjoy this movie quite a bit. The production value is high, all the audio is great, the sets look fantastic. And again, they look like they're having a lot of fun, and you can tell. And by that, I think it'll make fun for the viewers as well. So check it out. If you have seen OMG, we're in a horror movie. Leave your comments down below. Love to hear your thoughts on it. Make sure you check out all our other reviews and shows here on the final cut on Special Mark Productions. We're so close to 1,000 subscribers. I want to hit 1,000 subscribers by July, and I can only do that with your help. Please subscribe if you haven't. Have your friends tell their friends. Thank you so much for watching and as always remember keep that ticket stub